Hey guys, Base Shogun back again, and today we have a Power Rangers Cosmic Fury Megazord review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cosmic Zord Mega Pack. This is an Amazon exclusive, and is so far one of the few pieces of Cosmic Fury merch we actually got. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to give you a full-on review. I'm going to do a little bit of comparison with the Sentai, as well as taking a look at a little bit of Dino Fury as well, just to see which kind of trajectory Hasbro has us on. So if you do like this kind of Power Rangers or just robot collectibles in general content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. All right, and as you can see, Hasbro is known for actually having pretty good packaging. Um, however, I'd still prefer windowed always. Um, I know they're trying to get better at bringing that back. However, you know, it is what it is. So you can see all the modes you have here. Very nice. And well, let's take a look. There we go. Here is everything that came in the box. So it is a five in one. So you'll have kind of four limb zords, one main zord. This does come with two feet. And don't get too excited when I first check this out. I'm like, oh man, it looks like they maybe did commit to doing more because I know Power Rangers is really up in the air right now. I'm not even confident that they're going to make any of the other auxiliary zords for this, but uh, it might be like Dino Fury. We get them a year later. But yeah, things aren't looking great. So you do get. Two of these reused pieces, you do get an extra orb, two swords, and a platform, so they can kind of surf into battle. These two swords and that platform is a US release exclusive, so the Japanese version did not get that. However, speaking of the Japanese version, right before we do look at the swords, I will bring in, so this is the American version here. And then this is the Japanese version, just to give you an idea of how much the size and quality were scaled down. So yes, the Japanese version was extremely basic too, but they've ripped out the electronics, a lot of the detailing, like I'm really noticing the lack of silver on here. And it is quite, quite a bit smaller and obviously no electronics just everything's been downsized and downgraded and as for the zords here honestly 2000 to 2008 mcdonald's toys kind of ring a bell like this is maybe not the paint as much but like honestly the plastic maybe only slightly better than like 2000 mcdonald's happy meal toys and like Honestly, the function is about the same. So like, it's a foot. Oh, it's an arm. You can kind of see where they're going with this. So just about no transformation. It, you know, this does have a wheel, but the playability on these guys is pretty dang low, unfortunately. And you will notice they did go with the kind of weird, they call it Zoid Link. It was their version of the kind of Japanese um, version of the Dino Fury, sorry. And yeah, it still doesn't feel super great, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. And then yeah, Frog, like a lot of these guys, like are you ready to get him into the arm mode? Done. So yes, very basic signature Hasbro hollow out right there. Um, you know, the little bit of gold that they put on these, it does look good, as well as like, you know, this blue actually is quite nice, and the coloring of the plastic, aside from the gray, isn't too bad. But I wish I could show you more, but that's pretty much all there is to these guys. Let's get this guy ready for morphin' time. So all you're gonna do with this is like, that's it, like we're done. And then we'll just adjust this to the correct Angle, one leg already done. All right, and then for the bison, yeah, it's pretty much move up, flip this down. I think we'll have to arrange this. It even spins, so you don't have to do that. And hey, we're done. For the frog guys, are you ready? Whoops. All right, and we're done. So there's definitely a pattern. Um, I don't wanna just totally dump 
all on Hasbro there, and we're done. I, the box shows he has it up like that, kind of like a sword, but I think that looks worse. But um, yeah, in all fairness, like the Sentai that they adapted, the Zords were all very like basic too. But when you take away the, the paint, the plastic quality, and some of the electronics, as well as all the add-ons that the Sentai line ended up having, in my opinion, you've almost stripped everything that made this line originally uh, palatable. You've just taken it all away. Anyways, let's get this guy together. So you can see this ring is obviously going to go on the opposite side of that. There's a little plug in there. All right. One. Here we go. Two. Stand him up. There we are. And now for our Mr. Frog. There we go. And last, and well, probably not least, ha, there you go. So there he is in all of his glory right there. We'll just raise this up a bit. Um, let's go over articulation. He has no elbow joints, obviously. Um, his arms can do a 360. They did also add, let me just make sure. Yeah, they've also added a waist swivel and i guess you know if you count count that as uh any kind of elbow articulation but uh no yeah other than that the head goes 360 and you know that's it for articulation probably one of the most basic megazords out there and definitely that Hasbro has released. I mean, I was doing storage, kind of rearranging the other day, and like even Ninja Steel and Samurai as kind of like, wow, kind of that was a little bit low quality. And looking back at those, and I just put a few together. I did the Alt Resort for one. I was just trying to see if I still had all the parts. And like, you know what? My bad Bandai, like in comparison, that was much better and it had an infinite amount of better replayability. Yeah, this guy is what it is. I will say if you are artistically inclined, Hasbro has been so lazy. There's a huge amount of room for panel lining as well as adding your own details in there. I will say if you went through all that trouble, you might actually have a good looking figure by the end. But all right, guys. I'm gonna get the, uh, let's cut in some uh, Dino Fury kind of combined mode, maybe uh, Ultra Zord 2, kind of everything going in, and we'll see just how far we've fallen. All right, guys, so as you can see, we do have the Mega Pack for Dino Fury here, kind of the main combined, and we do have the Mega Pack for Cosmic Fury. So I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty plan to see which one I'd rather have this. They both have parts left over, which was especially frustrating for Dino Fury because they designed it in ways that you couldn't just put anywhere, you couldn't put the Lego system anywhere you saw fit, which was mind boggling at the time. So what did you think about that footage? I know, I, I know COVID happened. I know it's not their strongest brand, but like seeing what you got for the same price or less, um, I don't know if shocking is the right word, but it's a little bit sad, I think. It's time to look at the US exclusive mode here. And then I, I think it's time, I'm just gonna give you my final review. Cause you know, we didn't go super in depth on this guy, but there's not much to go over. So you do get this platform. This again is a US exclusive mode thing. Uh, it feels, you know, decent-ish quality there. Um, Lots of cool details molded in, so that's nice they did do that. However, you know, I still think we're kind of at the bare minimum. And to get this ready, pull that forward, and hey, there we go. And next step, let's just take apart this Zord again, and uh, we'll build them up from the bottom. Okay, now that we have that ready, what you're going to do, we already have them in kind of the torso mode, but what you're gonna do, take off the middle piece here, and this is kind of funny actually, hidden in his arms, 
There is funny little derpy hands that come down. That's for holding the swords. And next, using red and yellow here, we're just gonna plug that into the bottom of his feet. There you go. And I will say, these are a bit tricky getting out and putting in the, no surprise, the Japanese version 100% feels uh, better to put together. And then you'll take these arm feet combo here, and this will just use the Zoid Link system. Okay, and now that we got that on, we can put him right on here. You can see pegs there. Those will go into the Zoid Link at V back. And it might feel a little bit weird because these aren't going to line up. Don't worry, the bottoms that he plugs into is actually on a rocker, so you don't have to worry about that. And next, each animal here is going to plug into its own spot. So it has special cutouts for him. So like, yeah, the wolf is gonna plug in just like that. And it's, you know, it's hanging off. You can tell, I don't wanna say afterthought, but um, well, you know what? Let's, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This whole thing was an afterthought. Let's be clear. It, um, yeah, it was an afterthought. Okay, and then the base of the frog can go in there. And then finally, right here, you can plug in the swordfish. And now that you have that in, feel free to put the swords together. And by together, I mean just in his hands. And you know, that's it, guys. I would almost recommend, and it doesn't say this on the box, but you're gonna have one orb left over. So I'd almost take out his red orb, put it back in his chest, and just give him two yellow ones down there, but we're just gonna do it how the box says to do it. So guys, that's about it. That's kind of three of the main modes here. Um, yeah, I think we've seen enough. It's time for my final review. So I do think this mode actually, if you're gonna display them, might be the best put stuff in front of them this is a pretty big budget item they put out now if and this is the big if they release a bunch of the auxiliary zords you might actually have something worth displaying in convoy or in an alt resort uh the price now this came out at a hundred dollars us when it first dropped it's gone down since but i couldn't believe that because that the Canadian price would have been about 130 for this hunk, okay? Um, now it came down, it's going for about 70 or so Canadian. I waited till it came down on sale and then I put $40 of gift cards towards it. So I paid, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks for this. Um, it is what it is, man. Uh, it definitely doesn't make me feel confident that Hasbro is not just gonna pump and dump after this season of Power Rangers. However, that might be for the best, to be honest, unfortunately. I'm gonna give this like a 4.5. It's it's a thing, kids might like it, though for the price, I think you can get kids, like I'd, I'd almost get, get your kid like an Imaginax Megazord, like the big one that kind of looks like the Wild Force, because there's bigger things, cheaper things, there's things with more playability. This is, it's not it, man, Hasbro. Get it together, or you know what? Give the toy line to somebody else. I know you guys can make really good robots that combine. Hell, you've done it in Transformers. Um, I think you guys just need a refresh and maybe getting away from Sentai footage is just what this series needs. All right, guys, I'm the Bay Shogun. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Sorry about the lack of uploads as usual, but I hope you have a wonderful night or day. And remember, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.